Hello, um, this is Merv. Uh, in this video, I will show you uh, how to uh, mount NFS share uh, exported on a Windows 2012 server uh, hosted on uh, Windows Azure um, uh, through NFS version 4. Um, so, first of all, to enable NFS mount, you should at least uh, uh, add the ports that are, that are required for NFS basic functionality. Um, so, um, to do that, here is my Windows 2012 server. I'm going to click on it. And should click on the endpoints. So, I added uh, these four ports. Uh, into my endpoint and adding ports uh, into the endpoint is pretty simple. It usually uh, you click on the add endpoint and you basically select add endpoint and then click next and you should uh, just give it any name and then you put your port uh, numbers uh, and it should be all set. Uh, so I added these four ports. You may need uh, some more ports uh, um, depending on the situation. So I came across this uh, this uh, this forum topic. Where uh, they say you know, it's usually one on one and two zero four nine are the most important one, but you can add the other ports as well if you need to, depending on your situation on the client environment. But for me, it is good enough to add these two ports, uh, both TCP and UDP. Now I'm on a Ubuntu uh, twelve ten desktop. Uh, I didn't have the NFS client installed on my machine, and to do that, I basically uh, a new window here so I needed to uh, sudo so there's an actually an article in Ubuntu forum here how to do that so you basically have to install this uh, uh, NFS this common uh, package to have a Windows NFS version 4 client connectivity um, Windows 2012 uses NFS 4 by default I don't know if they can use that uh, NFS version 3 but I had to use NFS version 4 in my case uh, so you install that uh, with sudo on your Ubuntu, um, which I did, like you know, like this. And once you do that, uh, you should have the NFS client installed. That means you should be good to mount. If you want to use Kerberos uh, with your NFS server settings, I will show you where you can set it up. Uh, things get a little bit complicated in that case, but more security. Um, uh, especially when you're hosting your file server on a public cloud uh, in, in this case. Um, so to do that, it's the same page. Uh, and there are some instructions here. NFS server with uh, Kerberos, NFS 4 client with Kerberos. So these are the commands that you can use uh, to connect to an NFS server with Kerberos. In this case, I'm not going to show any uh, Kerberos. Uh, I'm just going to give you a basic uh, functionality just to show you.